Hi, I'm Dr. Mitchell Roslin, Chief of Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City and Northern Westchester Hospital in Mount Kisco, New York, and a professor of surgery at the Barbara and Donald Zucker School of Medicine. For people who have uh, gone through a, a bariatric surgical educational program, they tell you the importance of taking a multivitamin um, following surgery. And there are numerous companies that are making special bariatric supplements. There's really nothing different in any of these vitamins. What's different is the different concentrations that you put in. And most of the bariatric vitamins emphasize the fat soluble vitamins and have higher doses of vitamin A, D, E, and K. So I just mentioned the word fat soluble vitamins. We also have water soluble vitamins. And what happens with the water soluble vitamins is we can deplete our sources of them much quicker. Following bariatric surgery, the vitamin that we worry about most in the early post-operative period is called thiamine or vitamin B1. Thiamine is very, very important in the utilization of glucose. Now, what vitamins mean is you, the body won't make it, so it has to come from the outside, but you don't need an excess amount of, about it. More is not necessarily better. But what the biggest problem that you can have is early in bariatric surgery, if patients are intolerating food, which is rare, throwing up, they can become thiamine deficient very rapidly, especially when they call their, you know, the, the physician or a primary care doctor and they say, oh, you may be dehydrated, drink Gatorade. Well, what does Gatorade have? A lot of sugar. And if they're not getting thiamine down, that's going to utilize the last amount of thiamines they, they have and drive them into deficiency. Why is it important? Because if you get thiamine deficient, you can get neurologic damage that can last your entire life and may be irreversible. So the hallmark of thiamine deficiency is what's called cerebral ataxia, not controlling your digits very well, mental status type changes. The bottom line is that any patient that's having nausea and vomiting following bariatric surgery should make sure they're getting thiamine, even if that requires an intra, you know, intravenous insertion. Anytime a patient goes into a hospital with dehydration, we try to encourage all of our residents and all of our ER staff to give them an infusion of thiamine if they're in the early post-operative period of time. So thiamine deficiency is something that should be avoided. It tends to happen in patients that are having repetitive vomiting after surgery, originally most linked to Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, but can be linked to any bariatric procedure. Uh, originally, when I was in medical school, we saw it in people with IV drug abuse and, and, and alcoholics. So any source of malnutrition, nausea, vomiting, you can deplete your thiamine stores relatively rapidly. So again, um, make sure that if you're having issues, communicate with your healthcare team, and there should be a low threshold for intravenous fluid and IV thiamine while you figure out what the problem is. So nausea and vomiting can occur, doesn't mean there's absolutely a problem, but please, if you ignore the micronutrient deficiencies, you can get long lasting problems even after this subsides. I'm Dr. Mitchell Roslin. If you enjoyed uh, this, uh, this, this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.